add another note. Why don't I like the term post-traumatic subject? Because I hope you will agree with me. I think that it's too much a term which fits developed Western societies. Mm -hmm. There, when we have a trauma, it's usually something that happens quickly and then you are in a post-traumatic situation, how to deal with it? You are raped, there is a terrorist attack, there is an earthquake, you survive it and then how to deal with it? But isn't it that in <coughs> less developed third world countries, there is no post-traumatic situation, the trauma simply goes on. In the West, you are raped, then if you survive, you are traumatized, how to do it with it. In third world countries, you are raped, and then you are raped again, and then you know that you will be raped again. You know, it's a much more desperate situation. Like, it's irony to speak for an ordinary woman in Congo. For example, the Republic of Congo may be the site of the greatest catastrophe, humanitarian that she lives in a post-traumatic. No, she lives in a permanent trauma. So there is a lot of things to do here, and I think, again, we need more than ever, not only social analysis, but social analysis linked with psychoanalysis, and against the background of this, to think about philosophy. If I may just add another thing, then I will stop. Why philosophy?